what 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 did change over the f- last decade, and it's mostly over the last decade, although there's some people like Jonathan Roach who were prescient and realized there were changes happening even earlier, was that the well-meaning left began to slide into the crevice or chasm that is postmodernism. Mm. Um, it began to slide into the notion that because there were inequities in society, that there were f- in the sa- in the same society that had also led to the development of all of the great ideas of science and the Enlightenment, that there must be something fundamentally flawed about science and the Enlightenment. And that included the idea that there's objective knowledge. And the notion that all, all knowledge is, is, is subjective or at least contingent, and that, all, that everything has to be understood in terms of conflict and oppression and power began to take over. Well, it, 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 I mean, there's nothing new about that. That had taken over in the, in the humanities in the 1980s. Yes. When I was at Yale, as I began the book, you know, because you've read it, um, we used to make fun of it in the sciences. We used to make fun of it. Uh, 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 we were up on Science Hill. We'd make fun of the, the English professors and their departments with deconstructionism and the notion that, there, again, there was no objective meaning to language. Yes. And it was all had to be understood in terms of social 